Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Pokemon Swoosh. Um, last time we finished up the gym challenge in our turf field. We have a badge now. If I look at my uh, league card here. You can see I have one of the badge pieces, the green one at the bottom there, so that's pretty cool. Um, pretty exciting. <laughs> um, and yeah, now we've got to make our way across Route 5 to reach Holbury like it says there. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I noticed there was an update to the game when I tried to launch it. I think that's probably to do with this. I won't grab the expansion pass just yet. I'm going to play the regular game for the moment because I'm not very far into it. And I feel like this stuff is probably post-game content anyway. Uh, also, my Pokemon completed a Poke job, which I completely forgot about. Um, I did that several videos ago. I started it and then I completely forgot that it was a thing and forgot to check it when I came back. So I'm gonna go back to this Pokemon Center and get, have a look at that. Um, you just gotta talk to the, uh, what's this thing called? The... You know, the, the, Rotom, it's Rotom, that's right. Talk to the Rotom PC. Okay, so, job completed. Hello, my friends. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, that's cute. Look how happy I am. Great job. An exceptional job. Lots of EXP points for doing a great job. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I got a bottle of soda pop. Oh, cool. Um... Um, I, I think I have some Grass-type Pokémon. Let's have a look. Let's do this one. Uh, let me see... Uh, you? How many do I need? Four? I don't know if I have four Grass-types. I'll see how I go. Um... I don't know if I need all four, or if just giving the ones I have is enough. My party grass? No. I need to catch more Pokemon. I don't have a whole lot. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I need to actually pick four. So I guess I'll pick something that's not grass type as the fourth one. And see if that's okay. Uh, whole day? Yeah, sure. Do your best, y'all. <laughs> Cute. Cute. Okay, hopefully I'll remember that when I do the next video after this one. Uh, anyway, uh, we need to make our way to Holbury, so let's get going. Uh, let me see now. So yeah, um, we couldn't take this path earlier. It was blocked off, something to do with the bridge being out of commission or whatever, but it looked fine, I think. That's what I remember anyway. Um, so down here we've got... Um, I think we already have one of those, but I'm not sure. Oh, Wobbuff, I don't think we have that. Three heal balls. Is it Buffet or Buffet? Wobbuffet. Um. You're wearing lipstick. Is that, is that the gender variant in Wobbuffet? I don't like that. Um. I should have healed at that Pokemon Center. Wow. Uh. I'm just gonna... Yeah, go back and heal, because, yeah, I should have checked that. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. Um, hmm. <sighs> I guess I'll send something else out. Uh, I don't know what type what Wobbuffet what is. I think it's not water, or a water move would have been ineffective. Maybe? I don't remember. I'll try Flame Charge. Okay, so yeah, it's not water, otherwise that move would have been ineffective. Definitely. Um, but I don't know what type it is. Ancient Power? I don't know. <laughs> 
Uh, well, I guess... Uh, kind of strong. I'll try to catch it. Or them, or... I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, not a fan of that gender variation at all. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, that's gonna... Oh, no. Okay, I'm good. Uh, do I have any... I do have some Great Balls. Let's use one of those. I think it's because they're higher level, so I need, like, better Pokeballs to catch them. I think. I don't really understand it. The logic behind it. Like, I know I know that the better Pokeballs have a greater catch rate than the simple ones, but... I don't really know what to expect. Oh, you don't get experience if you're fainted. I mean, that makes sense, but... I kind of thought everyone would get experience regardless. It is never first to attack. Alright, um... Uh... Waldo. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not like red and white striped, so it's not really Waldo. Um, maybe something else is better. Maybe Wallace. I think there is a Wallace in um Gen 3 maybe? One of the one of the gym leaders? I don't really remember. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna um warp back to town and heal because I clearly forgot to do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, take me to turf field. I'm glad the taxi service is completely free. It's very good. Hello. Yes, please heal. I feel like the menu could show you, like, the health of your first Pokémon in the party or something. Um, rather than not a lot. Wedgehurst Station. Alright, maybe I'll go there. <laughs> I, I, can, I can go to Wedgehurst if you say so. Um, like, yeah, because this screen, like, they could clearly fit some more information on here. These big, like, icons could show things. Like, the Pokémon could show you current Pokémon's health. Pokédex could have, like, a number, or, like, little silhouettes of Pokémon that are in the area. Your bag could indicate something like how many, how many balls you have left. Um, you know, things like that. That would be useful. Uh, I don't know if there's something you could do for all of them, but I think it's a, you know, a good idea either way. Where chest is this one? I mean, we have to lie from the beginning of the game. If I tell you to go somewhere, you may as well just go there. Not, not quite the beginning of the game, but pretty close. Um, okay, so there's a rare Pokemon at the station? Can you even encounter Pokemon at the station? Or do I need to go out into the route? I guess I'll see what happens when I go in. The train to the Isle of Armor has arrived. Those with an armor pass, please board the train. Um, I didn't really voice act that at all, I just sort of read it out. It, it, is this what, why they were telling me to go to Wedgehurst? So I could talk to this person? Do you have an armor pass? Naturally, I have made all the proper preparations which you can observe with unclouded eyes. Please allow me to check your pass. Oh, oh, okay, it's a, um, a Alolan, not Alolan, Gal Galarian Slowpoke? Hmm, to meet a Slowpoke, such a thing is simply elegant. Uh-oh, looks like another one's gotten on the train and ridden over from the Isle of Armor. Can, can I catch it? Slow... You're a Pokemon trainer, right? If Slowpoke blocks the ticket gate, it'll cause trouble for other customers. Slowpoke are actually pretty heavy, so do you think you could catch it for me? Okay, they want me to catch it. Uh, yes. Slow... <laughs> A wild Slowpoke. Well, I don't have one yet, so let's get it. Um, I don't want to hurt it, though. Uh, let's switch to someone a bit weaker. That's a little hard because of the way the experience share works. Uh, I guess... I guess I'm... Um, Gareth? Let's see if this works. Use Confusion. That 
It might be helpful. I'm actually confused. No, I'm not. I'll use Ember. I think that's my weaker fire move. And Slowpoke is water type, I'm pretty sure. Or not, it didn't say it's not very effective. What type is Slowpoke? Hmm. It says Ember is effective. Weird. Ah, uh, okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just damage it down to about there and then use a regular Pokeball to do the trick. Okay. Gareth grew drowsy, you throw a Pokeball. Use the Pokeball. Did we get the slow poke? A uh, slow poke was caught. Gives a a nickname, yes. I don't know what to call them though. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Dan. Dan the Slowpoke. <laughs> Send a box. I don't know why I picked that. <laughs> Thanks much. Slowpoke can be big trouble to move sometimes. Hmm. How interesting. I must say, your catching style was quite simply elegant. We apologize for the wait. We have checked your armor pass. All aboard the train to the Isle of Armor. Mind your step when boarding. It's weird that they're spelling armor like that. Like, I'm Australian, I spell armor R A R M O U R with a U, and they're not doing that. Even though this should be, you know, the Australian localization of the game. Please be aware that it will be a connection along the way. Understood. Do they mean like a connection to the internet? Were they making a pun there? That would be really funny. I am headed to an island called the Isle of Armor. I've heard it's a place where one can catch rare Pokémon and do lots of training. Perhaps we shall meet again sometime. Well then, please excuse me. Okay, I think that what, what just happened was from the um, expansion pass. I think the Isle of Armor is one of the places you can visit when you have the pass. Um, but I don't think you can actually get an armor pass yet. From what I understand. Um, I think they haven't released it and they will in a, like a month or two? I'm not really sure. Anyway, that's what we're doing there. So now we're actually going to go to Route 5. So let's fly our way back uh, to uh, Turf Field over here and do what we were going to do. <laughs> I guess I already had a slow poke because it didn't get added to the Pokedex. Or did it? I don't think it did. Let's have a look. Uh, the boxes. I mean, I can't see one, but maybe... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, where is the slope I goes? Oh, over there. There it is. Okay. Hmm. Anyway, um... I'm just gonna heal up here just to make sure we're at fighting fit top condition. I think we do get a couple of hits in from the slowpoke, so... Pretty good idea. And then let's start on our road to Holbury. <sighs> Oops, I pressed the Y button by accident. Da da da. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Route 5! Okay, so I was going down this way. Um, what do we got? We got some, uh... That's a fightable... I think I already have Mincino, but they're very cute. Hello, Chef. Oh, -ho! I found the trainer whilst gathering berries. You were challenged by Cook Stewart. Um, what type is that? Is it like grass or I don't know. V 
maybe it's bug type? Like, it's, it's a, like an apple with a worm in it. Bug type would make sense, but I, I don't know what type it is. Okay, water moves aren't very effective. That suggests it probably is grass. Uh, I've only got the one Pokemon, so I'll just keep attacking. Does Psycho Punch only work on the first turn? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Anyway, um... Hang on. Fails if the target is not ready in an attack. Oh, right, because they were using, um... Withdraw. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll just keep using Water Pulse to do the trick. Goodbye, Applin. Should you give my Pokemon a berry when its HP got low? You got 2400 Poke for winning. <laughs> uh. Hello, berry tree. Let's go shaking. Apparently, if the tree is shaking like that, that hints that you shouldn't shake it more. So I guess I'll just quit and take the person berry. Not really a huge reward, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you camping out here? Ooh, what's this? Two big mushrooms, and I'm not sure what that is, but alright. Probably something cool. Here's another trainer. I'd like to show you my Pokémon that have grown so well. Time for Pokémon Breeder Debra. Oh, cute. Mincino! Look how happy the little cutie is! Little Mincino! Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna use Water Pulse again. I like Mincino. I'm sorry, baby. Uh, I don't know what Steamy is, so I guess I'll see. Okay, that's grass type. Yeah, I think I already knew that, but I forgot. Oh, this water pulse. It's not gonna be very effective, but you know, it'll do the trick. Also, it might confuse them, so that's pretty cool. Play nice. What does that do? Attack fell. Okay, that makes sense. Sort of. More experience for my friends. Natalie grew to level 21. I mean, you didn't seem to get lost in thought. You were making moves fine. Sort of. Um, what is this place? Is this just where the route splits off? Or oh, hang on. Okay, yeah, so this is where it split off. And then a little while later, you get to here. Also, there's something hidden back there in the in the in the field. What's this place? Nice to see a new face around here. This is a Pokemon nursery. We take care of people's Pokemon here. If people leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find eggs. If you're interested in that sort of thing, ask the old lady inside to tell you more. Uh, no thank you. Okay, so this is the daycare. They've renamed it for some reason. And you can come here to do the breeding stuff. Or, you know, get eggs delivered by the stork, because that's obviously how it works. But the stork is a Pelipa, because this is Pokemon. <laughs> okay, if I just run through here, I can grab this. A shed shell. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This discarded carapace enables the holder to switch out of battle without fail. Interesting. So it, like, cancels out mean look or whatever? Interesting. I'm not sure how useful that is, but it's, it's kind of cool. Hi, Stuffle! I think Stuffle is normal fighting? I think. 
Uh, yeah, Dark isn't very effective. I think that means fighting. See, strength? No strength? That's pretty cool. Actually, come to think of it, how did the HMs work in this game? Because TMs are all permanent, are there still HMs? Like, Fly isn't in the game, or isn't an HM in the game anyway, because you get flying taxis right at the beginning of the game, for free. Um, I haven't fought you, you yet, hello. My partner Pokemon's been growing in a really unique way, check it out. So you've only got the one Pokemon, I take it? Oh. You're taking very good care of that Pokeball, it's very cute. Stuffle! Hi, Stuffle! Look at that little Pobs. Stuffle have Pobs. I'm sorry, Stuffle. I feel bad. Experience point. Oh, you have two Pokemon, okay. It sounded like you only had the one. Okay, Rolts. Um, well, I mean, that's, that's, uh, it's Grass-type. I'll try Sucker Punch, but... Oh no, it worked, okay. Oh, it worked really well, actually. Wow. Oh, you have a third Pokemon, okay. I got the impression you only had the one. But you have lots of Pokemon. You have, you have three. I probably should have looked at the indicator of how many Pokemon they have, but I didn't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Experience. And that's all you've got. <gasps> oh, you look so sad. Pokemon are, Pokemon are living creatures after all. You can't always raise them how you want. You got 1824 Poke for winning. Sure did. Okay, well... Oh, um, what's happening here? Oi, just hand over that bike already. We need to cross this long bridge. I'm going to use that bike to chase around gym challenges. It'll be a scream. How barbaric. It wouldn't work anyway. You don't even have a Rotom with you. Hey, young gym challenger, they're trying to steal my bike. Please, if you give them a good thrashing, I would be in your debt. Oh, I'm about to get a bike, I think. After I beat these team yell obnoxiouses. Oi, we're not trying to steal the bike, only borrow it. We're going to use it to chase after gym challenges and make them all tired. But I'm thinking you deserve a special shout out. I'm going to crush you in a battle. Why am I doing this accent now? Like, I've been in Galar this whole time. Everyone has these accents. But I'm not doing them. You're challenged by the team Yell Grunt. Zigzagoon? Yeah, that's a Zigzagoon, alright. Go on, Cynthia, I know you can do it. Um, well, I'm a little low on PP for Water Pulse, but I think I'll be okay. Yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> Gareth leveled up. Um, uh, Thievil. I think that's Dark type? Maybe? Oh, wow. Is that the evolution of, um, that other Fox Pokemon that is cool that I have already, that I've forgotten the name of. It's cool though. How does Snarl do damage? It's snarling. Doesn't really make sense. Okay, there we go. Goodbye, Feeble. Uh, okay, experience points. No one leveled up, but we're getting close. <laughs> we're Team Yell. We get up in the faces of trainers. You got 1 for 40 Poke for winning. I don't know, I, li I like the accents. God, crush my attempt to crush you. They're not really good accents. Like, I I'm, I'm not professional voice actress or anything, but I'm having some fun. 
Why you? I want that bike. Don't get in my way. Alright, I fight both of them. But the other team, the Elgrunt. Sent out Sableye. Okay, that's some... Um, psychic type? Or maybe Dark. Can't remember. Do I have enough info yet? No. Um, I guess I'll try Water Pulse and see what happens. I don't know what types. Uh, it doesn't matter too much by the looks of things. Should be okay. How many Pokemon do they have? Just the one. Okay, well this will be easy. We can do this. Goodbye, Sableye. Experience points! Cynthia grew to level 26. Yeah! Level 24. Take that Team Yell Grunt. I was too distracted by that bike. Otherwise, there's no way I'd use, use, lose to a Yell O Belly like you. Same amount of money. Was that a different amount? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. You're too strong. If you stay in the gym challenge, you're gonna cause problems for our lady. You haven't seen the last of us. We're gonna make sure you stay out of our lady's way. Maybe, like, leave her alone? She doesn't want you doing this. My word, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokédex too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic, I think I'll give this bike to you then. Better you have it than Team Yell. Now, you know that Rotom love motors very, very much, right? Well, yes, th th their name is Motor Backwards. Enough to jump right into machines that have motors. So that got me thinking, if I attached a motor to a bicycle, then maybe I could get a Rotom to pop in there into that as well. Right. Come now, give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with Rotom to the fullest. Chop chop, come on now. You and Rotom ride that bicycle together. You obtained a Rotom bike. Bag to your pocket. Okay, I'll read the manual. Didn't you just create the bike? Like, why is there a manual? Press the plus button or minus button to ride your bike with Rotom. Let's get cycling. Okay, so these buttons did not do anything, but now they uh, change my outfit and give me a bike. Wait, why do they change my outfit? Well, it works. Woohoo! Oh, wow. This is real fast. Uh, it stopped being real fast. I don't know if I need to wait for it to, like, rev back up or something. Okay, it looks like it has to recharge after doing the turbo boost. Then you press B and it, it uses the boost. And it's really quick. Okay. <laughs> um, well, it works. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I already heard the manual. Do you have anything else to say? Or, like, you can see I'm cycling already. What is the problem with those Team Yell goons? I can understand wanting to cheer someone on, but they cause so much trouble in the process. Hardly a decent way for fans to behave. Yeah, every toxic fandom in the world. <laughs> oh, I can actually fly to the nurse nursery. Cool, I'm gonna... Um, hang on, what is that? That's the nursery. I can fly to Route 5 or the nursery. Interesting. I'm gonna fly back to Turf Fields because I'm running low on PP. And I feel like I should probably top that up. I'm assuming no bikes inside. You can't ride your bicycle right now. Well, but who told me that? Was it Professor Oak? Were Oak's words echoed? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we're coming up close to about a half hour, so... I might just go cycling a little bit longer and then call it a video. Uh, da 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 da. Da -da. Do, 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 do. I want to see where the fly takes you, actually. Hang on. Damn that. So you can fly to the nursery, which is that one, or you can fly to this one, which is Route 5. So where does that take you? Oh, this camp. Okay, that makes sense. Neat. So these little campsites always are fly points, I think, because there was one in the previous area as well, and it did the same thing. Hang on, it's a shiny thing. A health feather. It slightly increases the HP base points of a single Pokémon. Interesting. That big building you see in the distance is Hammerlock Stadium. You're going to battle there too. Um, how do you know I'm even a trainer? Like, I'm just cycling by, I'm some rando. Oh, hey Hop. 
There you are, Danielle. I'm warning you, though. Any closer than that, we're gonna have to have a battle, you and me. Yeah, let's have a battle. Let's go. I warned you. We're both gym challengers who've earned ourselves a grass badge. This is the perfect training. Let's go. You were challenged for Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. He sure did. Or they sure did. I don't know. I think Hop's not binary. Let's have a taste of what a gym badge's holders team can gym badge holders team can do. Well, um, you probably should have leveled up a bit more, because I'm way higher level than you at this point. See? See my point? Yeah, experience points, level 22, level 23. Culva Squire, that's your bird. That would be a problem if- oh, too nervous to eat berries? Oh no. Okay, whatever. If I had um, grass type, that's not strong against flying, so that would be a problem, but I don't. I've got water, so I'm fine. <laughs> Confused? Yep, hurt itself in its confusion, nice. Um, here's a water gun. Oh, come on, super potion? Seriously? Pop? Pop, we've done one gym battle, it's not time to start spamming items yet. Okay, water pulse it is. Blam. Goodbye, Paul the Squire. Natalie grew to level 22. Send out Raboot. Oh, Raboot's real cute. Every one of my Pokémon is an ace, this is no problem at all. Okay, I've taken no damage, and two of your Pokémon have fainted, so... Look how cute Raboot is. What a, what a cutie pie. Yeah! Typical. Should've known you'd master type matchups. Why did you choose the type that's weak against mine? What kind of rival are you? <laughs> <laughs> Level 19? Yep, yeah, cool. That was really easy. We both got ourselves the same grass badge, so how come you're so much stronger? There's this thing called level grinding. Uh, you might want to give it a try. Also, um, type matchups. I might want to give those a try too. You, you know I have a water type. You've gotten stronger, Daniel. Seems I've got to train even harder from now on. You obtained a revive. Oh, thanks. Next up is Nessa. Oh, Nessa! I love Nessa. The leader of the water gym. She's so freaking cute. What, what a babe. Let's go! Found a pretty feather. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Pretty good view on this bridge, I gotta say. What is that? Eldegoss. Hello, Eldegoss. Okay, if I use something like Water Gun, that shouldn't kill you, right? You barely did anything. I was hoping to, like, hurt you a bit more than that. Oh, let's try Water Pulse. Um, hmm. Hmm. What about Psycho Punch? <sighs> Seriously? Psycho Punch is hard to use. Since you have to predict what kind of attack they're gonna use, if it's actually gonna be an attack or something else. <sighs> Sing? Seriously? Uh. Let's go, Gareth. Okay, 
Okay, Ember is my weaker move, so let's see if this is okay or not. Oh, Sing, really? Oh my god. <laughs> Gareth, wake up. Wake up so I won't worry. This Elder Goss is very dangerous. Okay, Ember, here we go. That's it. Uh, I'll try Flame Wheel. Oh, Sing, really? Oh. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I was asleep. Come on, I want to end this fight, but I need to catch you. I think you Sing again, that was not smart. That makes more sense. Using something like round that does damage. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Great Ball, level 22. I feel like that's the right move. Oh, seriously? Seriously? <sighs> Seriously? Uh, guess I'll try another one. Uh, let's see. Carl, here we go. I mean, they're already weak. Uh, I guess I can try another Great Ball, but... Um... Okay. Okay, there we go. Elder Goss was caught! Experience, Paul Pokemon. Be grew to level 27. Why last sleep? <laughs> oh my goodness. Grass type number battle 2, apparently. Yes, I'll give you a nickname. It will be Elma. I don't know. Starts with an E. Elma the Elder Goss. Sand to a box. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch more stuff going on there. I'm just going to end the video here for now. I'll probably go heal off camera and then continue from this point. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, more of the road to Holbury. Hopefully with less obnoxious status effects like we just had there. Because that was obnoxious.